How'd they do that? I hate vampires. <sighs> Doc! Okay, uh, Grace is on her way up. So let me get this straight, man. You a vampire slayer? Teenage girls and, and sci-fi geeks say slayer. I'm a vampire hunter. Ah, hunter. Oh, so you certainly are geared up. Ooh. Hold on, that's a UV flashlight, right? Duplicates the sun's rays, harmless to people, but fries vampires to a crisp. Now, is either one of you going to explain to me why there's a dozen vampire Elvis impersonators up there dismantling my foolproof plan to kill the bad guys while trying to spare the innocent? Well, we just didn't realize that you were a vampire hunter. Oh, great. Well, I reckon there's about a hundred vampires in that ballroom in the stroke of midnight. They're going to go wild in the country and sink their fangs into every last upright, decent, mortal Elvis Presley fan among them. King Master Lobo's never tried anything like this before, and thanks to you two, he might just get away with it. King Master Lobo? He's the guy hosting this abomination. Let me tell you something. He looks like an Elvis, but he is the devil in disguise. Why don't we just pull the fire alarm? They'll bolt the doors, and they'll start biting necks. Huh. That ballroom's gonna be a bucket of blood before a single fire engine gets here. One thing I don't get is, uh, why would these vampires hide out as Elvis impersonators? Well, they get to work at night. Well, they get to wear sunglasses to protect their eyes without anyone looking twice at them. And they can wear capes and high collars. Yeah, that's a major vampire priority. It also gives them a way to increase their numbers. There's a lot of normal, hard-working, dedicated Elvis fans out there in that ballroom. And in less than 20 minutes, those vampires are going to turn every last one of them into a soulless soldier of the undead. Oh, you must be Grace. Oh, Jesse Guerin, professional vampire hunter. Wow, does that come with dental? <laughs> it has its perks. <laughs> um, yeah, now, I, I don't mean to be rude, ma'am, but, uh... Have you been riding the night train? Oh. It's him, Wes. I swear it's really him. Yeah, come on. No, man. The looks, the moves. It's just like I remember in the movies. What in the heck are you two guys going on about? It's just... All right, we tracked you down on solid evidence that the real Elvis Presley would be in this same room. Huh. You think I'm the king of rock and roll? Well, you're staying under one of the king's old code names, and uh, 1835, the number to this room, is his birth date. For the love of God. Do I look like Elvis Presley? <laughs> well, I... <laughs> well, duh, people. We're at an Elvis convention. Everybody here looks like the king of rock and roll. Okay, would now be a good time to talk about the vampires? No. It's time to stop talking and to start doing. Those sons of bitches have sold the name of the king of rock and roll for the last time. I'm gearing up. I'm going down. I'm a... I'm going to save as many of those poor people as I can before it's too late. All right, one man going against 100 vampires, that's even uh, suicide for Elvis. you got to die or something. Yeah, that's a sensical argument. you got a better idea? Uh, as a matter of fact, I do. I'm running out of time. Donald says he's got a solution to this problem. He's got one. Well, you better be right. He'll be here. Man, that's a hard-headed woman. Hey, Jesse. You're what? In your 60s, right? Well, give or take, why? I was just thinking that's how old Elvis would have been if he was still young. Isn't it enough that I saved your life? Why are you trying so hard to make me something I'm not? Other than it being the biggest story of a lifetime? If I were Elvis Presley, which I'm not, why would I tell somebody who's going to splash it all over the newspaper? Which is exactly why I think you are Elvis Presley. Look, you two. I've had it up to here with your suspicious minds. You're going to have to get it through your fat heads. I'm not. Elvis Presley. Who are you, then? I'm just an ordinary Joe who served in the Army in the 60s. So did Elvis? In the 70s, I, I, I was deputized by the Department of Justice. So was Elvis by President Nixon in 1970. Did Elvis Presley find a, a secret hive of vampires in Vegas? Was Elvis Presley stalked by the undead until he decided to fight back? Did Elvis Presley spend years of his life in the Far East, turning himself into a killing machine and, and mastering the martial arts, gaining the necessary strength and discipline to destroy the vampire menace.
I don't know. But if he had, that's what I'd imagine he'd do. For the last time. Ah! Oh! I am not Elvis Presley. It's almost midnight, and boy, do we have a surprise for you. We're running out of time! I have two individuals headed toward the ballroom playing strange tank-like gear. I need immediate backup. Welcome. It's a trap. Man, there's no getting out. You know I'm gonna walk out of here a winner, so why don't you just give up with a little dignity? It's between you and me. You better let these people go. After what happened in Vegas, you really think I'm gonna let this thing go down without an audience? What went down in Vegas? What's well, to say? I'm not only a sworn enemy of his kind, <laughs> I also sing Love Me Tender better than he ever could. Folks, are you ready for the ultimate battle of the Elvis impersonators? Ready. It's got fangs. You're gonna kill it, man. Don't be afraid. You be brave, darling. Let's close out Albasopolis 3000 with a bang. Shouldn't have rushed in, Jesse. Was that karate? Yeah. I got me a, uh, a black belt a couple years back. Really? I always had a black belt. Go for it, baby. Elvis has left the building. Oh, baby. Am I gonna go, Cat? Go. There's still a lot of uh, bloodsuckers out there defaming the good name of Elvis Presley. Yes. Where you go? Tucker. You believe what you want to believe, but you got to make peace with one thing. I'm not the king of rock and roll. I knew you were going to say that. But, you know, between you and I, it doesn't matter. And would it be nice to know that Elvis is still alive? Sure. I wouldn't tell anybody. I mean, I was a fan before I was a reporter. But I understand how you could go underground and, and then give up your fame and fortune to pursue something greater than yourself. Hell, I'd, I'd give up this whole story just to know that the king had that kind of metal. <laughs> oh, hell, Tucker. I'm gonna have to, uh, come clean now. I'm not Elvis Presley.
Now you stay cool, daddy -o. I think I understand why my parents like Elvis Presley so much. There's nothing cooler than being a vampire hunter. <laughs> Bro, this whole night is like a Blades Aloha from Hawaii. <laughs> Wes, he's not Elvis Presley. Hey, Mr. Garon. You left this behind. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. Garrett. Jesse Garrett. Hey. Wasn't Jesse Garrett the name of Elvis's twin brother? Elvis had a twin brother? Yeah, he died at birth. Very well documented. I'm telling you, man, I, I saw the king. And that man is royalty. Wes, he's not Elvis Presley. Trust me, I'd know. Yeah, but he also said that if he was Elvis Presley, he would never tell. Well, maybe he's Jesse Garrett. Well, he is Jesse Garrett, but he's not the Jesse Garrett. I mean, he would have said something. He did say something. He said he wouldn't say anything. Hey, there's no problem. We'll be able to figure out the identity of a mysterious vampire hunter just as soon as we see the pictures that Wes took. Wes? You did take pictures, didn't you? Twice the size.